<laughs> this is Gabriel. Hi, Gabriel. The main thing we would like to tell everyone He says he loves you. Coconut does? Yes. Oh. And he's happy that I'm here. Yeah. But he knows that I'm always here. Yeah. But as I was saying, the message I want to give out to everyone is to keep pushing because the energy, the negative energy has really gotten heavy right now. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah. They are doing everything to push people down by giving them less currency to do what they need to do to survive. So I want everyone to know that we are, we are helping them as much as we can mm -hmm. without directly interfering. We want them to use their minds that source gave them yes i've gotten that feeling lately that that is a big message to everyone yes to use our minds also uriel just told me that he actually came through a little but you mean just now <sighs> yes they're all here but we want everyone to stay strong. We want to tell everyone to keep pushing. Mm -hmm. Use your minds that we gave you. Use your minds that Source gave you to keep pushing. Because everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. We love everyone. Mm -hmm. I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Somebody mentioned that we are creators, which we are. And there was a discussion about whether it's important to set protection uh, for negative energy. The idea behind that being that perhaps it is not necessary since we create our reality here. Uh, thinking that perhaps one could create a reality in which there is or are no e negative energies. So I was curious about your thoughts on that. Yes, there is. The, there is a way. Uh -huh. it's, there's, they already know the way. Uh -huh. And we pretty much just have to keep repeating it. And we know it's hard for people to understand. But <sighs> meditating is the key. Even when you have negative energy, sometimes it's hard for people to meditate because they're in environments where it's so much noise and negativity. It's very hard for them to meditate. Uh -huh. So they, the best time to meditate when you're in that environment is right before you get ready to go to sleep because everybody would be quiet. So yes. right when you lay down to go to sleep, you can definitely meditate then because it's really quiet. You can just meditate. Uh -huh. You may fall asleep. Mm -hmm. But what happens when you meditate, when you fall asleep, it takes you into a dream state and you end up astral traveling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's how we give you most of your information. And it might seem like a dream, but it's really not a dream. It's really mm -hmm. us giving you your information you need. So if you get information from it, it's because you astral travel, then you are given the answer. There's... Yes. So those are the best time to meditate is when everyone is asleep. But if you're in an environment where you have mostly quiet and you can meditate at any time. Okay. And try to push away the negative energies. Try to silence your mind. Mm -hmm. If there's so much going on, mm -hmm. try to silence your mind and, and think about what you can do next. Okay. And the answers will come. 
Yes, we know it will be very hard, but the answers, they, they will come. The answers will come. Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> there are a lot of people who feel like they can't get in touch with their higher self or connect with their team. I know that for me, it just takes repetition. Mostly repetition, I think, practice. Is there anything else? You... Yes, there is another way. No? There are a lot of people that can't get in touch with higher selves because they're the way they've been raised and taught, they think uh. it's not real. Uh-huh. Another way to do it is to get a surrogate. Oh, yes, Anyone yes. that does sessions like these, if they have a surrogate, uh -huh. that can bring out their higher selves for them. Okay. And they hear that. Once they hear their higher selves, they should be able to hear them all the time. Uh -huh. So a surrogate would work. Mm -hmm. Once they hear their higher selves, that should trigger something in them. I see. And the higher self would be clearer to them and they would listen to them. A lot of people think they're talking to themselves, but mm -hmm. it's really their higher selves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There is something down there on other planets as well. They call it schizophrenia. Oh, yes, yes. I had questions about Those that. Those people are not schizophrenic. No. They actually are beings that are actually taking on other beings. Some of the other beings have passed away. Uh-huh. Unfortunately, some people will try to call them, well, what do you call it when somebody gets possessed? You call schizophrenic. Most of them are talking to this higher self if it's just one person. Uh -huh. But if it's more than one person, they are actually taking on other people that passed away that has not came up here to the light. Oh. And some of them don't even know they have passed away. Uh -huh. So they're right. actually have strong enough to jump into somebody else's body uh -huh. and control them. So those people are not crazy. They are right. getting taken over uh -huh. by other I see. other people that passed away. Unfortunately, some of the people that passed away were going through the same thing. The person getting taken over has gotten passed away. Mm -hmm. And they think they are still schizophrenic, but when they are passed away, they are not. Yeah. They are jumping into someone else and continuing what they oh. went through. Okay, okay. It's very complicated sometimes. Yeah. Should they be on medication? No. Okay, so then what can be done to help them? Uh. Unfortunately, on your planet, there is nothing that can be done. They, they, they can try to control it themselves. They can try to control it themselves, but uh -huh. sometimes it's very hard. What does the medicine do that is harm? You know, is more harmful than being off of it? Because the medicine they give them has it has harmful chemicals that they put into yeah. it uh -huh. to make people worse. The only medicine that works is the medicine they give them to calm them down. Mm -hmm. The calming. The One. common medicine is the good medicine. Okay. But they give them too much sometimes. All right. And usually when they put them into what you call a vegetation state, uh -huh. they're literally just putting them almost like an instant astral travel. And they oh. are actually peaceful there because mm -hmm. they're out with us, just traveling around. Oh, and I see. It's almost like they feel like they're with us, which they are. Actually, they're just, mm -hmm. the body's not deceased yet, so they're still tied to the body, but they can still be with us. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, they'd rather just stay with us. Yeah. That's why sometimes, well, most of the times, they have to put them in what you call those straight jackets because they don't want them to take their own lives because mm -hmm. they want to be with us so bad because they've been there with us and they just want to stay. And yeah. they just want to come back so bad they would take their own lives. So they have to put them in those jackets. What? It is very complicated. That doesn't happen to everybody. It's just yeah. those people that are schizophrenics 
were already very special people. I was going to ask why and, that happened. And they just get taken over by other stronger beings that can just go into people's bodies and do that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Every being can do that, but most of them don't because it's almost like when they're in the little limbo they are when they pass away. Okay. They're in between the living. Uh-huh. And the Passover. Yeah. So they have a little power still left of the living. Okay. So they can so they can do that. Uh-huh. <clears throat> All of them don't do that because they've they still have their empathy and they will never do that to someone. They will come into their dream sometimes to give messages and do it that way so that person can see their gifts and then and they can have the gift of talking to people on the other side. But unfortunately some of the ones gets taken over and they call them schizophrenics. And they and and they and they really hate it because yeah they hear these voices loud and clear and right some people just don't tell anyone they just stay away mm-hmm. from people because they don't want to tell nobody they hear those voices because they don't want to get thrown right in with the straight jackets and stuff they just keep it quiet and just keep to themselves I talked to a couple of people in the awakening group that I'm in and. They mentioned that they were hearing uh, people talk to them or beings talk to them who were pretending to be you, but they were giving them really uh, strange information. Yes, there are some that there are some that pretend to be us. Mm-hmm. The only ones that recon- can recognize that are people like you. Are the empaths that feel people that enlighten and do what you do. Oh. And they really know how the light works, uh-huh. knows when they're being fooled. Because they know when they hear anything negative, they know it's not us because we do not speak negative. Right. Yeah. The negative energies can fool people. The only people they can fool are the ones that don't truly believe in anything, meditation, anything. They're, they were just brought up by basic religions and they don't believe in anything but that. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Those people are the easiest ones to fool. Yeah. Because they think they're getting possessed of something that scares them. Right. But people like you and other people that do what you do know better. Mm Mm-hmm. So they know if they hear anything negative, they know it's not us. Yeah. So anyone out there, if you're trying to believe in meditation and the light and these kind of things... I'll tell you, it's very easy. If anything comes in your head that's negative, it is not us. It is not us. Mm -hmm. I talked to one lady who went on medication because of that, and she said it it was helping to quiet those voices. Yes. And actually, that that, that right there Uh was the good medicine, because when it quiets the voices... It it clears your mind, and that's when you can meditate better, and you hear hear the real voices. Uh-huh. You're not being taken over anymore. Okay. If you hear voices, and they're telling you good things, mm-hmm. it's us. It's got to be good. It can't be right. anything like somebody's trying to tell you to do something to somebody else. Right. That's negative, or it, do anything that's not good. Right. right. Or that'll put you in a place where it wouldn't get you in trouble. Mm-hmm. Anything. Anything, because we would not tell you to do anything towards anyone unless it's something nice, like right. giving them a hug or something. Uh-huh. But doing anything that might affect the other person in a negative way, it's not us. Yes. You've never told me anything negative, ever. Yeah. It's always positive and always full of light. It will always be that way. Yeah. We just want everyone to know that. Do you have a name for that medication? Is it the, um, when you say the calming, is it, <coughs> is it the calming that you said? Calming type? Uh. Yes. We We do not know what they call it. Okay. But it's the more calming one, not... Not 
say an antidepressant. It's the one. It's the one or, that put them in a vegetative state. The oh, one. I think the I one that looks like. It almost like euthanizes them to death, but it it, it just makes them <sighs> eyes go in the back of their heads, and mm -hmm. that one. It looks like it's not good, but it's only good for when the person is really, really frantic. Yeah, okay. And it just puts them in a state where they just, they really are putting them to sleep, but it's only just to yeah. rest. Yeah. Is this a, like a soul contract, a, a thing they uh, decide before they come here? Yes, it is. Yeah. Some people can control it, though. Okay. Like, um, I, I, I can't give you names, but there yeah. are some people that can actually channel like that. It, it, is, it is like a different kind of channeling. So wow. schizophrenics are not really schizophrenic. They're actually channeling people oh, okay. because the people can go into them. But they're pretty much channeling anyone. Yeah. So they can be channeling yeah. someone that's crazy. And the person that's talking through them is actually just saying stuff and might not even be talking uh -huh. to you. They're just talking. Uh -huh. They could be walking down the street and people just think they're talking to themselves. Oh. But the person that's talking through them is actually talking uh -huh. to the person that they just took over. So wow. if someone's going down the street and saying... I hate you, leave me alone, and they're not even looking at you. Mm -hmm. That could be the person they took over, yelling back at the person that took them over. That is very confusing. Yes. <laughs> and that's why it's not good for them to be seen in public, because they will get yeah. taken away. Yeah. Under, And it's not under their will. Yeah. And nobody really stays in those places. Some people actually do get better because mm -hmm. the voices just stop and hmm. they see that the person's back to normal and mm -hmm. they will be let back out hmm. so it's 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 unfortunate yeah. it does that, that only happens on this planet though because on other planets there are people that go through it on different planets but mm -hmm. they just let them be they don't get thrown into anything like they do here on this planet they just hmm. let them be Nobody questions them. They just let them be. Yeah. Yeah, I learned this is a... I mean, I knew it, but my client who just channeled Source talked a lot about how hard this planet is. Yes, it's very... How challenging. It's a very hard planet. They, You know, everyone that's on this planet, you know, they wanted to come down here. Uh -huh. There's a lot that would never come down here. Yeah. So the people that are down here are very brave people. Yeah. Pretty much everyone on this planet very is brave. a brave, brave, brave soul mm -hmm. because it's like volunteering to go to war or something. Wow. You're a very brave soul. So I'm telling everyone, everyone that can hear this, you are a very brave soul because you volunteered to come down here. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people are very sad and wondering, like, how did I decide to do this you know i i never would decide to do this yes it, it, exactly when you, when you're up there before you come down you already know you're going to regret it when you get here really so you already know wow. what you're going to say when you get here but you don't remember right. you don't remember that you because when you get here you don't remember anything from where we are yeah yeah when you get down there or any other planet you don't remember what you were you just, mm -hmm. you just know what you are at the moment mm -hmm. so you know if something happens you get hurt mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. may i ask what you're doing <laughs> talking talking to coco Talking. <laughs> He's sitting on you. <laughs> You're talking. He came to through him. a little bit. Did what did he say? He just laughed. He did. He came into this body and laughed. Does he have anything to say to me? He's just excited that I am here. 
He likes. Oh yeah. He likes that we. He can hear us through other people's bodies because they hear us all the time. But when they actually see it come through. Yeah. They just like to see it. <laughs> they love to see it. Pets are very, very special. You know that. Oh yes, I see our other cat is watching this intently, intently by the door. They know everything. They, they actually know. He knows. I can hear it in the background. Yes. There's a machine. Yes. They know when that machine is going to come off before it even they, comes off. They do? Yes. The one that's on the battery, the their feeder. Yes. Wow. They know before. Yes. How do they know that? They just know? They they have good memories. <laughs> they, they, they remember time. Uh, yeah, yeah. So they know when something like that, when they used to. Uh -huh. So they... You know, they go check it out, and then they like, oh, okay, oh. you know, they're very smart. They they certainly seem animals to be. are very smart. Now, do they? I've heard that we're all the same, and you've mm -hmm. you know, you've all told me that, and I know that you mean that we're equal. Mm -hmm. Are they just like us on the other side? Yes, like. Do they talk? They 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 are. We we're all the same. Uh -huh. Like, you know, it's the. What you call the reincarnation thing? You can be mm -hmm. you can be reincarnated any way you want. So okay. even the animals, even the animals that came down here, they're the brave souls. Also, anything yeah. that comes down here right. is a brave soul. You can come. Hey, Coco. Everything, everything on your planet has a conscience. This, mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. has a conscience. Yes. This. It's crazy, but it's true. It's, it's a thing to you, yes. but this has a soul also. That's amazing. And the thing about these things, though, is because <laughs> these things can't really die. Yes, so you so could amazing. come and be this uh -huh. even just for a little bit. So this oh, is okay. this is what we call in our domain. Mm -hmm. This is like a, a, a free pass test. It's like, really? They say, do you want to go to Earth? They say, yeah, but I don't want to go down there and uh, die. Right. It's like, okay. What if you went down as trauma, maybe. a rock? Yeah. Do you want to go down as a rock? It's like, yeah, they say, okay, if you go down as a rock, you literally won't, you won't, you probably won't see, you'll see stuff. Uh -huh. You won't be able to interact with them. They'll, right. they'll just walk over you or something, but you actually see it. And that's the one thing you, you could be without dying or uh -huh. anything. Or having trauma. Yeah. And they, and, uh -huh. and when they come back as, Anything like this, uh -huh. they can come back to us anytime they want. So it's like a it's like a free pass to Earth. That's why we say anything living is the brain brave souls because when you're living, you're gonna feel pain and stuff. Right. When you're like a blanket and stuff, you feel stuff. Yeah. But these things <laughs> don't have n nerves or. But it has a consciousness. It has a consciousness. Amazing. It, that is what Source told us, though. Yes. That everything has consciousness. Yes. Everything. Yes. Yeah. So it's this is like this is like the free pass thing. So you can actually oh, come wow. to Earth, and you can you can you can you yeah. can feel stuff in a different way because you don't have nerves, but you can yeah. feel heard, it a little bit. I've heard of people uh, having sessions where they are things like yes. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why living things like you and animals. Mm -hmm. They are the brave souls because they feel pain mm -hmm. and they can actually hurt and die. Of course, once you mm -hmm. die, you don't feel the pain anymore, mm -hmm. but you will feel it. So you are the brave souls. Um, I have a, just a personal question. My regression this week, I saw a coconut as an owl, I think, or a bird. He was, he was a bird in another bird. life. In that life, with me, or was it a different life? In that, in that life, he was your 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 pet. Now, he was he was a bird. He was a bird. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's and, what then, I saw. and then and then and mm then, -hmm. how many other pets you had in that life? He just oh. he just kept coming into different mm -hmm. pets. Whatever pet you got, that's who he was. Now this will lead to questions uh, because Dolores Cannon brought so much information mm -hmm. through, but I don't think she brought that information in particular through. She probably would have if mm -hmm. she had continued here. Yes. Um, 
So I am curious about that. Uh, you know, many people love and adore her, and I, uh, I love all of her books, but mm. there must be more to explore, yes? Oh, yes, there's, yes. there's plenty more. So th that shouldn't be where we stop, right? No, no, there's... Our, 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 our the way we live over here is very, is very hard to explain yeah. on on your plane sometimes because mm -hmm. everybody, they get all they get all this information, mm -hmm. and some of it right and some of it's not right, mm -hmm. so it's very hard. The only way people gonna know anything is when they get over here with us, right. the whole all of it. Yeah. So I hate to tell you, but you're not gonna know everything down there because it's just too hard mm -hmm. to give you all the information. That's gonna make sense to anyone down there. I'm honestly. okay. I'm okay with that. I don't think my brain could hold it all. I think. It would well, that's explode. the thing. The human, the human, the human brains um, cannot. Yes. I think um, I was in one of her sessions when I was talking to her, uh -huh. and I was trying to give her information. I guess it was the beginning when she started, and 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 I was trying to give her information. And she couldn't hold it all. She says it's too much. Yeah. She says too much. Yeah. I said, okay, we'll just give you like little bits. Yes. At a time. That's what she said. That's the way. That's the, how we have to do it with the human brain. Yeah. Uh, um, on other planets, people are smarter. Uh, not to sound bad, but their okay. their brains are different. Your brain has a right hemisphere and a, and a left hemisphere. Oh yes. Um, um, uh, most brain. other uh, beings on other planets, they have just one whole brain. Uh huh. Yes. Is that like the show that we watched on uh, Gaia? Uh, where they said they did not have hemispheres? I think, I think, I think you did watch a show like that. But they, yeah, they have, on another planet, they have one brain, mm -hmm. one whole brain. And that's why they can do, uh, they can fly. They can mm -hmm. make stuff move around. They, they're super, super intelligent because mm -hmm. they were taught differently than, than you down there. Yeah. Um, they, they, the reason why they can fly is because they were taught that they could fly and just like birds mm -hmm. are being taught to fly, they have wings, but you can also fly without wings if you were taught that. Humans yes. can actually levitate, mm -hmm. but since they were taught they couldn't do that, they don't believe it, so they won't do it. Does the, now what Source told us was that because the collective does not believe that, Mm. That's kind of how it is, but can we still transcend that and, and levitate? I oh think yeah, we can. In, anyone can if they if they really really believe they can. Yeah. Uh, they they really can. Your brains are equipped to do that. Okay. But the, in order to levitate, you have to know you can levitate. Right. You can't think. Right. You can levitate. Right. You literally have to know you you can levitate, and mm -hmm. and you'll be able to do it very easily. But unfortunately, uh, on your planet, since you were raised and taught mm -hmm. that that stuff is fiction and it's not real mm -hmm. you can't do it yes i remember when i was young someone telling me that magic was not real and i was so upset <laughs> i was very sad yes <laughs> because i believed it was real yes it's, it was unfortunately that's the why i say it was the way you was brought up because you have yeah. fictional characters uh -huh. that you thought were real when you were little yeah. and you found out they weren't real yeah and when you do stuff like that to people, it kills all of their yes. belief in pretty much anything. And it just uh -huh. keeps them in the trap, what you call yes. the matrix. That was in second grade. And it was actually another, just a classmate who told me. So they must have been told by their parents or somebody. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I was so discouraged to, <laughs> to hear that. Yes, that's what happens when... People are taught uh -huh. certain things, and they tend not to be true. Yeah. It's, that planet is very... It's a challenge. Unfortunate. What I notice lately, I feel a happiness in spite of all of the things here that are so hard. Yes. I feel joy. And the harder they are, the more you fight it. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to be... A long-term thing for anyone. Mm -hmm. We just want everyone to believe what they, yeah. what they have to do, and it's it's always good to have people you can count on. Mm -hmm. Some people, some people have people in their lives they can count on, but they, mm -hmm. they don't really want to ask them for anything because they, get all high and mighty on them. Bro, oh yes. But we the way we figure, 
even when those people do that, they still give you what you want. Uh -huh. So it's almost like if that's the case, if you have somebody that can give you something, you know, they're going to rag you on it. Uh -huh. If you really need it, don't worry about the ragging on part. Uh -huh. Just worry about what you need and take yeah. what you need from them. Use it for what you need it for. Because the person that was ragging on you will get over it sooner or later. Right. right. So just kind of blow it off and just say, you know what? I really need this right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to ask this person for something. Mm. And you... just use it to to survive and uh -huh. use it to make better ideas so you don't have to ask them no more for anything. Right. Because um, you're kind of blessed to have someone that can give you give you what you need mm -hmm. even if they're not very nice about happy it. or good people mm -hmm. yeah. if you know you can ask them just ask them anyway mm -hmm. and get what you need and then use what you need to just maybe get what you need and get away from them when you don't have to ask them for them no more mm -hmm. but you have to survive down there that way unfortunately sometimes we do give little breadcrumbs like we we do it in a way where it doesn't seem like we did it because you have free will down there. And we can't. It's almost like a rule here. We can't just give people anything because it's kind of like cheating. Mm -hmm. um, like if you don't have any currency, we can't just make a million dollars pop in your bank account because mm -hmm. we can, but. It's almost like it's not really getting you where you need to be. It's almost like we want you to get it mm -hmm. yourself. Yeah. That's why, because if we did do that, then you wouldn't have any homeless people where you are. Right. There shouldn't be any homeless people where you are, honestly. But unfortunately, the way things are ran down there, mm -hmm. they're ran to keep people like that, unfortunately. Yeah, I've noticed that. We don't like we don't like that, but no. it won't be like that forever. We do know that, so that's a good thing. But like, of course, yeah. we can't tell you when that's gonna be. But it's not gonna be like that forever. So mm -hmm. the way the way you have it set up down at, uh, um, you call them weeks or days. Mm -hmm. It's always best to. Um, we all we always we always see just by looking, since this work. Things started down there, like the work week thing started on your planet. We see. Uh -huh. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Who started? Nothing this? really. Um, the. Nobody ever asks that. Who started the work week? <laughs> it was the. You call them the. Yes. That started. That. That started the trap. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Because if you think about it, kings and queens, mm -hmm. they don't, they're so rich they don't have weekdays because they're, right. they work, they, they just, they just have money and they can do anything they want. So they don't even know what day of the week it is most time. People, they put, they built this trap uh -huh. for people to work, to make money from other people that's got more money. But yeah. they also designed they also designed it. They're real sneaky about it. They, they designed it for people to work to make money, which they, it really didn't have to be that way because they could have literally gave everyone the same amount of money and everybody be living the same mm -hmm. the same way. Mm -hmm. They did it like little pieces at a time. Yeah, I bet. But they also made it where people that work can make their own businesses and get rich as well. So that's that's how they did it. They they say, okay, well, it's not necessarily our fault that we created a work thing, mm -hmm. but same it it is it is because mm -hmm. it didn't have to be that way. Right. So they say, okay, we'll make it so they can, you know, make their own business and get rich too. Yeah. And they they don't. So that it's almost like okay, well, you don't have to be like that if you smart enough to make your own business and make a lot of money, then you won't be poor. So that's their excuse. Uh huh. Okay. And there, and everybody can't do that. Like a lot of people don't know how to do that. No right. matter what, they're just, uh -huh. they just know how to work and make money. <clears throat> right. 
So that that's how they try to. That's the little mm-hmm. trap to say, okay, well, you don't have to be that way. You can make your own business and make money. And mm-hmm. no, no, this it should not. The whole system is not supposed to be the way it is. Mm-hmm. It just. That's why we say when when the wave and the flash, whatever you want to call it, comes, mm-hmm. all of it will, will not matter because everybody will have the same thing. Mm-hmm. Nobody will have no more than nobody else. And everybody yeah. will be happy yeah. from what they got. Yeah. Nobody's going to have nothing, no better no better than anybody else. Mm-hmm. And when that happens, you won't have any more negativity because nobody's going to be jealous of somebody else because right. somebody has this. Yeah. Everybody's going to have the same thing and be happy right and that just blows people's mind when we tell them that because they're like <laughs> mainly because you know they've been brought up since birth to do what you're doing now you don't know anything else uh-huh. you just can't see it uh-huh. but they, with the, if they really really think about it that's the way we're living up here mm-hmm. everybody got the same thing yes up here you can create anything you want uh-huh yeah which is good because anybody can create whatever they want. So if somebody creates a big old house and somebody makes something bigger, then somebody can make it bigger. So it's like everybody just makes the same thing. Mm-hmm. Nobody's going to have nothing nobody else because they can create anything they want. Mm-hmm. So it's like <laughs> nobody's going to have right, nothing. Right, right. You can make anything up Yeah, there. nobody's going to have nothing yeah. nobody else can have up here because right. cause you can make it. That is um, the message we have. For everyone today, just stay positive and okay. try to keep the negative energies away from you, and then everything will be okay. Be okay. Yeah.